and I'm back again. Uh, so I'm gonna talk about sarcasm. So uh, autistic people uh, have a hard time recognizing sarcasm uh, because tone of the person doesn't match what they're saying. So since autistic people already have a hard time understanding other people's uh, tone and body language, they'll often just miss sarcasm completely. Sarcasm is lost on you, Pinky. And one of the signs that a child might be uh, autistic is if they don't recognize or have a hard time recognizing sarcasm when they're uh, younger. For me, I can recognize sarcasm, but it has to be obvious. The, the more obvious, the easier it is for me to recognize it. If like the person changes their voice a lot or does a lot of exaggerated body movements, then yeah, I'll almost always pick, it, pick that up. Or if a person is talking about something that happened and they're saying, oh, that went well. And, and I can usually look at the situation around me and tell if they're being serious or sarcastic. Well, that worked like a dream. It did? Sarcasm is a foreign language to you, isn't it? I know I talked about this in one of my earliest reviews, which is that I couldn't tell uh, if Stephen Colbert was being serious or sarcastic uh, when, when I first heard about him, like, back when he was doing the Colbert Report. It wasn't until I heard someone else talking about Stephen Colbert in an interview and they mentioned that he was playing a character. Uh, you know, I was able to find him hilarious, I guess. Yeah, I, I do like him a lot. Yeah, if I know people are being sarcastic, then I can't find them funny. But, but if I don't get that they're being sarcastic and they have to explain it, then that kind of ruins the joke. But actually, I, I would say that my problem isn't with uh, determining if someone is being sarcastic or not. It's my response to it. Oftentimes, I won't know what to say or won't think of anything good to say. That's going to be it for this vlog. So until the next video, goodbye.